brilliant red color, isn't it? It's just popping off of the page. If you remember back uh, to my other videos, I learned from Henry Margot that they distribute their highlights and their highlighted colors according to the style that it's on to bring out the natural beauty of that style. So on this mid-length, uh, beautifully layered style, you're going to see these highlights sort of evenly distributed throughout the style. So we're going to get from every angle, we're going to get a look at this beautiful depth and dimension. Color 29H, it begins with a medium to dark auburn color. And then what you're going to see in there are these fire red auburn highlighting and then some lighter copper highlighting. It makes it a brilliant, just a jump off of the page, red auburn color overall. What I want to show you, because I have the color ring here, I want to show you a comparison. So let me see if I can get this upside down here for you so you can see. So this is our featured color, which is the 29H which is that auburn, that medium to dark auburn with the red auburn, which they call like a fire red, and then a copper auburn, a lighter copper auburn in there, okay? So I wanna show it next to a very popular red in the Henry Margot line, which is the 131H. Now that one is a true dark red auburn with some medium red auburn highlighting to it. So next to the 29H, that 131 is a more deeper, more cherry red color. And the 29H would be a little bit warmer with some of that copper involved. This is a beautiful mid-length, sleekly layered style in their Naturally Yours collection, which means it has a full temple-to-temple hand-tied lace front full monofilament top and then it's open wefted sides and back and I will give you a quick look under the cap here in a moment about a seven inch layer here at the front so that's going to come down to about chin level on me and then you have an 11 inch crown and then some 11 inch layers here on the sides and then about eight and a half inch layer on the nape so all in all about 16 17 inches The style weighs just over four ounces, which is pretty typical for all the monofilament features that you're getting. So you're already noticing, and I'm going to linger here on this lace front a bit, but look at that part. It's absolutely pristine, isn't it? Perfectly straight, not in a weave pattern, pure illusion of scalp. It looks completely natural. So let's go ahead and linger on that lace front a moment. I do love their lace fronts. Their material that they use for their lace fronts do seem to blend in so nicely to any skin tone. And the same goes for any monofilament top features that they have. Very well done there. You're going to get just a bit of contour right out of the box here. So just a bit of contour there so it doesn't lay completely flat against the forehead. And if you just simply take your fingers and rake back, just that simple feathery motion just sort of brings all those layers to life. The fibers are silky. They're very lightweight. The density is of average density. What's remarkable about this style is that there's very little, if any, permatease in it. Scarlet for styling. It's a sleek style, very straight, very silky. We talked about having limited permatease. Now, if you do want to bring up those fibers, just pinch them a little bit at the root to bring out any fluff that you can. And that can give you maybe a little bit of volume. But you really are buying this for the sleekness of it. So like I said, when it came right out of the box, it had that pristine straight part there. That gives you that ni nice, crisp, absolutely flawless look. Just immaculate. If you want to style it a little bit differently, you certainly could. 
because it's a full monofilament top. So this is kind of parted uh, right pretty much down the middle, maybe slightly to the left. I'm a left hand parter, so let's take a look at how that works. Sometimes when you do that, you kind of waken some of that volume. And by going against how it was laying in the box, it does give you a little bit of lift. More of a right hand part. So if you scoop the hair to the side and use the heat from your hands just to create a little bit of pressure to redirection that root, the rest of the hair will follow. You could use a styling spray. You could use steam if you want to give it more of a permanent lift there. You can do a style completely off the face. So there's a lot of ways to stay cool in the summertime. You can bring it back into into a pony and I'm just going to use a little bit of a scrunchie there. Now this is a straight style and sometimes those scrunch scrunchies just don't hold as well on a straight style like that. So you may need to use something like a claw clip or bread. So you can see just by messing it up a little bit, separating those fibers from the cap, because when they come in the mail, they're just really compressed in there. So you're going to release the, the beauty and the movement of the hair. I'll go ahead and do a full spin and turn. So you can see this style from all angles. I'll try to give a lot of shakes to my head so you can see the movement of this hair as well. Here's an inside look at the cap for Scarlet. You'll notice that it has a beautiful, very nicely contoured, 100% hand-tied lace front. That lace front is very deep and then it goes back into a full monofilament top. The lace front goes halfway back and extends into the ear tab, which are closed velvet covered ear tabs. A beautiful extended open nape with Velcro adjusters. Lots of wefting there. In terms of stretch, not so much. This is a full monofilament style. It is an average sized cap. Now with this particular one, it fits me very well right out of the box. I'm a petite average circumference. This should easily stretch up to an average size.